So, I've been asked about my paintings, so now I'm going to tell some stories behind them. This first one, which I choose here, uh, is called You Know, and it's been painted 2040, maybe 2050, but I must set that. I will write it down there in the comments. Uh, here is me, this one. And this is my ex-boyfriend, and he's shooting me, I am giving him the keys, and he's shooting me, and uh, the story which is there is that, yeah, we had a re uh, relationship, but I also had a very strong spiritual phase in my life, and uh, he wanted to get to know me, and he he wanted to know know a lot and. I was very interested in, um, but at the end he got very violent, I don't know why, because uh, when I was earlier in a same kind of situation myself, I had got to know to a woman who was a kind of spiritual leader to me, or at least a mentor or some kind of teacher. And I just needed to know, I had I had very strong need um, to to figure out what she was talking about and I had it was a strong experience to me and at the end he she got uh, uh, very difficult and I just left her alone I didn't I didn't get mad at her or shoot at her, I just went away and we split and later I had a same kind of situation but this this guy here took, took that part that he, he wanted to know things from me and but he, he lost it at the end, he started shooting aimlessly and maybe even he got me killed or something, I, I, I had to go to a doctor and therapy for a long time and I I got this mental disorder even this PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder because this this guy was very cruel to me it's even hard to describe it anymore But in, in those social cir circles that we were in, they finally started to defend me when I was very open about this.
case to them. And I, I told very straight straight that I'm I'm suffering because of this this guy who who is shooting me. And then they then they finally took my side and and this guy had to go away. It was it was for too long that he didn't get away and I was getting worse. I was feeling feeling so bad. And it, it was a long time. But but then he, he he had to leave because no one tolerated it anymore. And it was actually a first time that when somebody is cruel to me or harasses, he has to leave. Earlier it has always been that, that way that although I have been harassed, I have had to leave the social circles and it shouldn't be that way. But this was the first time that it wasn't like that. The, the bad guy had to leave, finally. And I got to stay and it went like, like it should go, of course. And uh, it's funny, I, I am giving I, I think those keys are like those <laughs> little handcuff keys that are in handcuffs that you use in uh, in sex <laughs> and But I gave him many kinds of keys, like spiritual keys also, but yeah, sexual keys too, because uh, I was a first lady he had sex with. He was a younger guy than me, and he, he was a virgin, and I kind of took his virginity or how, how, how do you say it? Mm. Yeah, it's he, he has his long hair and this is me. And so I, I kind of gave him a lot like a very very valuable things and he he got nuts and started to shoot me mad 